uh, he clearly mentioned, Mr. Rishi Jagmohan Singh clearly mentioned that uh, this is an investment, this is a bamboo tree. So it's, it's going to grow. It's going to grow over the years and you're going to have patience, right? So then how do you measure digital success? So it's a very valid question, uh, Avijit Ji, and it has always been on the mind of a market here. Uh, I have a cross question here. If you are questioning uh, the ROI of digital effort, there were a lot of practices in conventional marketing. How do you track the ROI of that? For example, uh, all my pharma friends who are connected, they, they would be knowing that you know there is something called as LBL. So they used to distribute LBLs to you know thousands of doctors. So what is the ROI on that? How do you measure that? It's not a question on you know uh, the ROI. It's a question on mindset, and you understand what the broader perspective it. And the challenge with the uh, with all of us has been that we have always thought of transactional, which means you know uh, you know that is why uh, the very first thought of ROI comes to our mind. Whereas what we should be thinking more is building an you know, uh, meaningful relationship with our customer and taking this forward. So there is a journey, our customer's journey. So how you can leverage digital on that part, creating a partnership with your customer, not thinking directly on the transactional part where you actually you know, expect a return on investment. That is bound to happen, which is why I said, what is the uh, you know the key difference? What is the key role of a marketer? My my key job is to create awareness and create demand. So uh, if you are leveraging digital platform, obviously you are creating demand. Now coming back to your point, there are various methods. I mean there has to be willpower. People should be willing to you know measure that. You can measure that. The one such thing available currently is obviously your CTR. If your CTR rate is high, obviously you know that this is working, right? And the second part is you can conduct certain market research, like the your, your awareness index before your campaign, your awareness index post your campaign. So there are various uh, ways and methods you can actually know whether your campaign is working or not. Okay, but so far, as of now, as you started it, digital marketing, as in you as a head of Dr. Reddy's, has your campaign taken off as a digital marketer on the digital marketing side? Yeah, so, so sorry, Avidaja, please come come again. So see, uh, one point here I would want to make very clear that whatever I'm speaking is basically speaking in my you know individual capacity. I'm not representing any organizations or uh, as a, as a as a pharma market here. Yes. As a pharma market here, have you been so far been successful in implementing the digital marketing stick? Yes. Yes, very happy and very successful. And as uh, Jagmohan ji mentioned also. Uh, I know we have received several awards also on the digital marketing. So digital marketing is very vast. I mean, how you are leveraging digital tool for your internal fill force. Why, how you are leveraging digital tool, how you, know, you are going to uh, kind of train your own people, right? And uh, a lot of things. So if you look at, there are certain applications, which is uh, in the public domain for the patient benefit, for the doctors, a lot of things are there. Abhijit. So if you look at, uh, any average pharma marketers, they are leveraging uh, digital marketing, may not be to an ex level of the expert, but definitely people are on the journey, anyone and everyone. If nothing, even if you know there is, is an organization is not very evolved, at least they are leveraging WhatsApp to you know reach out to their audience. So it is not that we are not, everyone has leveraged it. Okay, 